The clown persona of Pennywise from Stephen King's It is supposed to lure kids to him. In the book, when he appears to children, he almost hypnotizes those he abducts, accompanied with the trappings of a carnival, the smell of corn dogs frying, the sound of the calliope, and of course, balloons that float. He's not supposed to personify evil on first look. That comes later, when his prey has come within reach, and suddenly his evil intent is made clear, usually with the reveal of a mouthful of sharp fangs. But this new Pennywise from the upcoming movie adaptation of It oozes evil from the get-go. They're doing the opposite of what a clown should be, garish and colorful. And by doing that, they're removing a driving force from the books. They're removing Pennywise the dancing clown as a symbol of the dangers of childhood, especially for children in the town of Derry. On the surface, like clown makeup on skin, there's the bright, endless, and happy days of youth. Underneath the surface lies the very real dangers of mortality. This new Pennywise wears his menace on his frilly sleeves and therefore undercuts the major theme of the book that he personifies. For the new Pennywise, they're going for a scary doll look, and this leads me to what I think is really the reason for the way he looks. It's yet another continuation of this wrong-headed drive by Hollywood to make every concession they can to new feminism. Girls play with dolls, right? So let's make Pennywise look like a doll. In reality, this is the exact opposite of feminism, which should mean the genders operating on an even playing field. Yet, here again, concessions are being made to women giving Pennywise a feminine look, complete with a waist that looks like a dress. If Hollywood really wanted to treat women fairly, they'd just keep Pennywise's traditional clown appearance and know that women can find regular type clowns just as unsettling as men. Of course, it's a bridge too far to change the character of Pennywise into a woman. Doing that to such an iconic evil character would really open a can of worms. So they do the next best thing. They feminize him as much as they possibly can. You might also wonder why it seems like this feminizing seems to be happening so much with properties that are specific to nerds. Well, you can see the thought process in the recent Ghostbusters movie. It's men and boys who like Ghostbusters, right? How can we possibly make it attractive to women as well? Why, make all the leads women, of course. It's Hollywood doing their social engineering bit, trying to insert new feminism into a world that is perceived to be dominated by boys and men. Women don't like horror stuff, right? No woman has ever read a Stephen King book, right? So let's lure them in with a frilly Pennywise. It's more ridiculous kowtowing from Hollywood, and if your movie adaptation is approached from the political point of view of let's get women in on the deal, then you're headed for disaster. All that, and Pennywise's new outfit just doesn't work. The movie's costume designer, Janie Bryant, has said that this new version of Pennywise doesn't wear the colorful clown costume because this version of the character, quote, prefers to camouflage himself and strike, unquote. Huh? Camouflage in a clown outfit? Why not just wear hunting pants and a jacket? Oh wait, because he's a clown. So dress him like one then, instead of a 17th century dandy. <laughs>